So as you watch this, you'll probably notice a lot of things here, like as they move, you can see the camera kind of tilts, well, pans rather, goes back and forth, left to right. Not so much tilting, because they are on a flat surface. They're not really going to be going up and down. Um, and you can see the camera moving back and forth. There's probably a little bit of zooming going on here, but not very much at all. And mostly a lot of panning, a lot of random movements and stuff as this just moves. So there's a lot of stuff going on in this particular clip as far as camera movement goes. The characters are also moving as well, just lots of movement, it's, it's very good. Here we see a different type of shot. Uh, I guess we would argue this is probably a medium shot, but um, we do see you know multiple people here. And you notice the interesting cut as he thinks about the female being there, and then it cuts back and we can tell by the comedy that it's not who he thought it was, and apparently he's just, you know, maybe he got hit in the head too hard. You know, so we see lots of different types of shots. We see the camera moving. Very interesting things. Here is a, another one that you can see, and this is a the film Psycho. And this is the classic uh, shower scene, for lack of a better term. And um, I don't think it's too risque for us to show in this class. It's, it's getting there, and especially for the time it was. But if you'll notice, there's not a whole lot of movement camera-wise and even character-wise, but there is a lot of back and forth here and so just you, you kind of watch it and you, it's just basically some slashes very fast movements back and forth and Hitchcock himself even talks about why they had to film it this way and I, if I could find that clip again it's one of those things where you see it and it probably should have saved it when I saw it but it's worth watching Hitchcock talk about this too but let's go watch this clip for Psycho as well